Sometimes I forget where I leave off of things. But what I can remember and what's clear to see is I have a, a huge mess. Like this garage has been like this for a long time and that's because, no, not because I'm afraid of the cold or not because I'm afraid of working. I'm afraid of distraction. And what that means is I have a heater and the fan constantly blows and it screws up the audio and I don't like it. You guys probably don't mind it, but I just, I can't stand to think that the fan is going while I'm recording. So that's the main reason why we haven't completed the Kodiak in a short amount of time. I mean, yeah, I could have finished this thing in a week if I didn't have to worry about filming it, but I want to keep you guys in the loop. You guys want to see this, so I want to show it to you, right? Because after all, it is becoming a 3D machine. And today I might like get away from the camera at times and actually do stuff and then just bring you guys in the loop so that way I can actually accomplish a little bit more. Saying that, let's get to it, boys and girls. I have most of the mechanical stuff done. The last thing I really have to do is replace the air filter. And then I think I've replaced every part that I need to replace on this machine. And it's actually becoming, well, let's just say it went from being, a, I think, a 2002 to being probably a 2009 equivalent. The plastic's on it. That's what's really killing it. And not in a good way. Killing it can be good, but in this case, killing it's bad. Here's the old air filter. I will clean inside the box, but I'll also open up the actual air filter that I have here. It looks like it's already pre-oiled. And I can feel it too. last two hours I've been using a broken tripod. I've actually been using this tripod to get all my shots because it still kind of works. I had some Gorilla Glue on it, but the Gorilla Glue failed and now it's broken again. So I'm sick of working with that. I've also broken a second tripod and that one's right here and I, I hot glued it and that's working better. I don't use this one very often anymore because that one broke and then I bought this one here and then this one's been a reliable one. It has yet to break. It also costs more than this. But that one's actually, that one actually is ready to rock and roll, I think. But I like this one because I can get like tall shots and I can get low shots. It's better for the high shots, basically. Instead of using, instead of using this one all the time, I just, you know, change the size on this one. But I'm getting sick of trying to balance this thing and then I don't want my camera to fall because cameras aren't cheap either. I went inside and I grabbed this. Now, I don't know which one to use because I'm not a professional plastic welder. But I'm reading this here. If you guys have any information, like if you guys have uh, plastic welding experience, let me know. But I'm going to use the uh, the gray rod. I'm going to use the gray rod, which is used for PVC, like PVC pipe, because this is, in my opinion, the the closest material to this material. But I'm not plastic welding this thing inside because of one reason. I don't like the warning here. Saying that, I want a well-ventilated area, and what better than the great outdoors? I don't think it's PVC because it's not melting at the same consistency, so I'll grab another rod. So what went from working on a four-wheeler turned into a lesson on plastic welding. I'm not a professional plastic welder. I do have a welding degree, but not a plat. like, I, I do metal. This is how it turned out. It doesn't look really pretty, but I, I would say that it's going to hold. I'll give, give you a couple welding tips. So on the back here, it's supposed to penetrate. On the far left there, it actually bleeds through. Like that's really good. And then on the right, you see how you can still see the crack, so it's not, it doesn't have complete penetration. So that means that you're, you're not gonna get your full strength, right? I would say out of 100, that's probably 75% uh, fused together. Now obviously if we were working on bridges and, and things that had to have actual strength then we'd be a little bit more picky but for right now I think it's gonna work. And to be completely honest I don't even know if I picked the right plastic but you know what we'll test it. Life is an experiment and we're gonna experiment. I can't get over how much of a four-wheeler it's looking like right now. I it's.
And what's even more jaw-dropping is I might be able to put the wheels on right now and it'll even look more like a four-wheeler. But before I do that, I wanna check the coolant line and the coolant system. So I'm going to top off the radiator and just see if there are any leaks. No leaks in the coolant system, I'm excited about that. What I'm even more excited about is the fact that this rack is actually in better shape than I remembered it being. Granted, there is a crack here, and if you flip it over, there's a couple more cracks. That little lip is twisted. I mean, nothing that is really affecting the strength of this. I mean, obviously that is. But this, I don't like the appearance of this. If you look at it, you can see how twisted that is, and how twisted that one is. And all the other ones are pretty straight. So I have my 2x4s under here, and how I plan on doing this, since the wood is suspending this bar up in the air, I'll take a hammer, and let's just say I'll do work. Not quite sure how this is going to work, but we'll try it. Hopefully I don't smash my hand. Actually really impressed how that worked. Next one. I'm not gonna spend a decade on this thing, so I'm going to say that's pretty good, and I'm just gonna fix the cracks. I came inside to get some lunch. It was delicious. But what better way to end lunch than with some fan mail? Let me just begin by saying I appreciate everything you guys send to me. Whether it's big or small, I love it all. I didn't mean for this to rhyme, it just kind of came out. But I do want to thank uh, Davin L. I put your poster up, it's it's phenomenal, thank you. I'm getting really excited because spring is almost, well, it actually, I guess, is here. The first day of spring was either yesterday or the day before. I'm not sure, but the weather's warming up, which is really nice. And I'm getting ready to use this stuff that you guys send me. Holy smokes. This is heavy duty, super heavy duty, like really good dirt bike gear. Dear 3D Machines, my name is Grayson Shiflet. Thank you, Grayson. I'm 14 years old, live in North Carolina, and I ride a Suzuki RM125. I sent these knee and elbow guards for you to wear. Hope you like them and keep up the great videos. These, these pads are phenomenal and they'll match the Honda quite well. Thank you. I just can't get over how sharp they are. There are a few pieces of fan mail that I really wanted to use and, and start putting to work. And two of them are the same thing of radio. You know, the Duramax is missing a radio. I'm getting sick and tired of not jamming out and having a good time with the old D-Max, if you know what I'm saying. So I think we're going to do that instead of working on the Kodiak. I do want to get the Kodiak done. It's just, who doesn't want to rock out? You guys know I did gloves. And a screw extractor set. These do come in handy. Now for me personally, they don't work as often as I'd like them to because I usually work with rusty stuff. But rusty stuff is a challenge. And I love a good challenge. Hello Dalton, I am David Candedge. I am a fan of your vlog. I think you're doing a great job. Thank you David. I have been a mechanic for 30 years. I am sending you some easy outs for when you mess up Allen head wrench heads. I hate those, you guys know that. Thank you, David, for the pens, gloves, and easy outs. They will come in handy. Thanks for the successful fan mail. I'll see you guys in the D-Max. As you guys are aware, four people, well, two people sent me a radio, but I have three names on the one radio, so that's why I say four. But anyways, who am I to choose which radio goes in the Duramax? We got two radios, let's use them both. So this one from Hunter, Hayden, and Gavin, this one has a cassette player, but it has the same shape as the one Crazy British Bloke sent. But the one that Crazy British Bloke sent is the one that actually fits this model. But I like that this one has the cassette player. That's, I'm old school. Bloke, I apologize, I'll get to your radio. I, I do appreciate it, thank you. I know it's been a long time, but I'm ready to jam out. Wow, it fits. Done the right tool. I got the parts though, that's that's the important part. Because I know where the tools are at, I hope. Got it! Ow! My knee. There's a, there's a steering wheel right there. I can already see me jamming out. I'm, I'm excited. I know what you're thinking. Dalton, why the hell are you rocking out to cassettes? I don't know. But if that's what makes me happy, then who cares, right? Now, let's see if it actually fits. It might not fit, actually. Holy smokes, we got a, look at this. I have an actual working dash, and a dash that looks halfway presentable. Holy smokes, thank you guys very much. I really do appreciate it. Bloke, I promise you, we will get to using this. I will not let this go to waste. Oh ho, 
Why does it say locked? It says locked, so I'm assuming that it's like stolen. I'm gonna have to look that up later. Just know that I have your, thank you.